Hello, my name is Irene Lafarga Previli, and today I will be presenting my NMHD RCMI Administrative Supplement Research Project titled The Impact of COVID-19 on Maternal Health in Puerto Rico. The specific aims of this study are to, number one, examine the impact of COVID-19 in pregnancy-related experiences and outcomes. Number two, examine the mental health impact of COVID-19 in pregnant women and mothers of children 12 months or younger. And number three, identify risk and protective factors of pregnant women and mothers of children 12 months or younger in the COVID-19 outbreak. The methodology for this project consists of a mixed methods research approach. In the quantitative phase, we aim to recruit 200 pregnant women or mothers to be surveyed by phone and answer questions related to pregnancy and birth related experiences, social determinants of health, social support and mental health. The results are then entered into a REDCAD database and statistical analysis are conducted using the Stata software. In the qualitative phase, we recruited 10 pregnant women or mothers who were interviewed by Zoom and the interviews were then transcribed and coded using NVivo software. Participants are recruited from the Puerto Rico test site for exploring contamination threats cohort an NIEHS-funded research project that studies the influence of environmental contaminants on adverse birth outcomes. In terms of our participants' profile, here are some demographic characteristics and some data regarding social determinants of health. Here are some preliminary findings from the survey. In relation to pregnancy and birth-related experiences, 21% reported giving birth, giving birth alone, 32% reported being separated from their baby after giving birth, and 23% reported being isolated before giving birth. Almost half of the participants were very worried about giving COVID-19 to their baby and thus incurred in the following prevention measures, like avoid going out to places like restaurants or malls, canceling their baby shower, and avoiding visits from other people, including family members. In relation to the mental health impact of the pandemic, the most reported sources of stress were health status, work, sit work situation, and childcare access. Most reported coping mechanisms were watching TV or playing video games, using social media, but mostly talking or spending time with loved ones. 44.7% reported frequent, that they frequently stopped enjoying activities that used to make them happy. Meanwhile, only 17.7% consider seeking mental health support. Here are some preliminary findings from the qualitative interviews. These are the categories developed for coding the interviews. They were based on the interview questions. Three people coded each interview on the consensus level or the frequency of coding the same text using the same category was between 86 and 99%. In our analysis, we have found, for example, that most participants express how giving birth alone was a traumatic experience for them. And when asked about if they received orientation regarding COVID-19 protocols prior to giving birth, most of them mentioned that they were not adequately briefed about restrictions. Finally, when discussing the verbalizations coded as other, we found emer emerging themes related to the importance of faith, vaccination status, and the role of media and mental health. In relation to future directions, we would like to study, use the study findings to compare with other protect studies related to the impact of hurricanes on maternal health, consult with community experts like mothers, caretakers, healthcare providers, and community organizers to receive their feedback for a research proposal, and write a research proposal that focuses on developing, implementing, and evaluating interventions focused on emergency preparedness and maternal health for pregnant women and healthcare providers in Puerto Rico.